Na ang radyo, hanapin ang Z-Radio Halika na at makinig, mag-aaral tayo! Yay! Sa Radyo Z-Skwela, makinig, matuto Sa Radyo Z-Skwela, may matutuhan bago Sa Radyo Z-Skwela, siguradong masaya Dabaw di Oro, Radyo Z-Skwela Maraw, kayo nga siyo'y susulong Kaya, halika na, mag-aaral tayo Yay! Sa Radyo Z-Skwela Makinig matuto Sa Radyo Z-Skwela May matutuhang bago Sa Radyo Z-Skwela Siguradong masaya Dabaw di Oro Radyo Z-Skwela Handog ng DepEd Davao de Oro Radio si Skwela Siguradong masaya! Let's go! Yeah! Oh sorry! Hello hello learners from the different schools of Davao de Oro I was enjoying eating this yummy and delicious bread while waiting you all guys for today's radio lesson, I am pretty sure that all of you are excited to listen, to unlock, and to learn new things about technology and livelihood education, specifically on bread and pastry. Well, anyway, our lesson for this hour is somewhat related to this appetizing and tasty bread, which I enjoyed biting a while ago. So what are you waiting for? Sit down. Relax and join with me as we discovered something yet. Good morning learners from grade 10. It's another skill-filled lesson which you are about to learn in today's episode of Radio Z Escuela. Learning never stops in technology and livelihood education where yielding new skill through radio broadcast is a comfort no one can resist. I am your radio presenter today, teacher Rafaela Takasan from Bagdagan National High School, the finest school in journalism and leadership on Tokan North District. First, I need you to make yourself comfortable and get ready to listen carefully to our broadcasts. At this point, I want you to take out your handout, have your module and your pen ready for our lesson about preparing a variety of bakery products according to standard mixing procedures, formulations, recipe and desired product characteristics, particularly pan de coco bread. I repeat, our lesson today is about preparing a variety of bakery products according to standard mixing procedures, formulations, recipes, and desired product characteristics, particularly pan de coco bread. Alright, get your module and find a comfortable position. Before we begin our new lesson, let us see if you can still remember baking terms by answering these questions. Number one, what do you mean when I say butter? Very good. Butter is an uncooperable mixture, usually made of flour, liquid, and other ingredients. How about caramelized? You're right. Caramelized means to heat sugar until it is melted and brown. Caramelizing sugar gives a distinctive flavor. This one, blend. Great! Blend is to combine gently until even and smooth. How about when I say cream? Absolutely correct. Cream 
is to combine sugar and fat by working them together, rubbing the ingredients in the side of the bowl until the mixture is smooth. We have so many baking terms. I hope you can still recall those things. Now we are ready for another lesson. Are you excited? If you don't have pen and paper, get them now because in a few, we will deliver another great lesson. As I mentioned earlier, our lesson today is all about preparing a variety of bakery products according to standard mixing procedures, formulations, recipe and desired product characteristics, particularly pandi coco bread. Brace yourselves and get ready with your module so you can follow our lesson. If you are ready, let the lesson begin. Once again, good day grade 10 students. How are you guys? Are you ready for a new fun terrific learning? Oh, that's great! Here it is. Our topic for today drills on preparing a variety of bakery products according to standard mixing procedures, formulations, recipe, and desired product characteristic, particularly pandi coco bread. Again, what we are going to discuss today? Very good! Students, get your notebook and ball pen and let's get started. Today's lesson will direct you learners to first, identify the tools and ingredients in making bread. Second, explain the process of preparing pandi coco. And third, perform and present pandi coco. Working with bread dough is one of the most fascinating and rewarding experiences in baking. Although the preparation procedure may be timing, mixing, kneading, leavening, and shaping the dough in as many shapes as your imagination can dictate give delight and satisfaction, especially when it is appreciated by other people. Breads are baked products leaving to increase their volume with biological or chemical leavener. I know you are all eager and excited to make bread, specifically the pandi coco. So, let us identify the needed tools and ingredients in making this bread. Now, get started. Get your module and turn it to page 10 to 11. The needed tools and ingredients are Oven 1 kilo bread flour 2 tablespoon oil 2 tablespoon instant yeast 2 teaspoon rock salt 1 fourth cup lukewarm water 1 teaspoon vanilla 2 cups water, 75 grams lard, 100 grams brown sugar, for the filling, 1 piece young coconut grated, 1 cup brown sugar, 1 teaspoon vanilla, mix and cook together. Those are the needed tools and ingredients in making bread. Did you get all those stops? Wow, that's amazing! Before proceeding to the lesson, let us check learners how far have you gone with today's lesson. Are you ready? Okay, so here it is. Give at least one tool and five ingredients in making bread. I will give you five seconds to give your answers. So, Timer starts now. Time's up. Let us see if you really got the first part of our lesson. 
Again, give at least one tool and five ingredients in making bread. What are your answers? Very good! Since we are done with the first part of the topic, let's continue the learning discussion. At this point, you will know the process or the procedure in preparing pandi coco. For the second time around, brace yourself as we are about to reveal the process and procedure in preparing pandi coco. But before this, don't you know that pan de coco, literally coconut bread in Spanish, is a rich, sweet roll that uses Swedish shredded coconut meat or bukayo as filling. It is a popular snack bread in the Philippines. Now you know. Let's begin the process or procedure in preparing pan de coco. First, prepare the desired filling and or topping. Set it aside. May I ask again, what was our first process? Excellent! Process number two is dissolve yeast in one quart cup of warm water. Sprinkle with one tablespoon sugar. Allow to stand for eight to ten minutes. Did you write it already on your notebook for the second process? Okay, very good. Let's move on to the third process or procedure in preparing pan de coco. This time, combine water, oil, salt, and sugar. Stir until salt and sugar is dissolved. Set aside. Did you follow me? Okay, very good. The fourth process needs extra careful. Why? Because you need to place bread flour and make a wheel at the center. Then add the yeast mixture, followed by the liquid mixture. Mix thoroughly in a separate bowl. Did you get it? So again, what is the fourth process in preparing pan de coco? You got it right. Do you have any questions so far before we continue on the next process? If not, let's proceed. The fifth procedure that we need to do is to transfer dough in a flour board and start kneading. Continue kneading until dough is smooth. Did you get it? Good. Let's move on to the sixth process or procedure in preparing pan de coco, which is to shape into smooth bowl and grease all sides with lard. Place in slightly greased bowl, covered with damp clean cloth. Allow it to rise until double in size approximately one and a half hours. Then punch down dough. Are these statements very clear? If it is so clear, again, please repeat the sex process in preparing pan de coco. Bravo! You got it right. The seventh process or procedure that we have on the list is to shape and add fillings and more topping. At this part, filling or topping with coconut is applied to the dough. Am I clear? Good! Let's proceed to the eighth process or procedure in preparing pati coco, which to arrange the dough in grace cookie sheet. This time, the making of pandi coco is about to complete. Did you get the process? Very good! The nine process is simple. Allow to rise for the second time until double in size. Again, what is the nine process in preparing pan de coco? Fantastic! Finally, the last process to complete the making of pan de coco is to bake dough until done, 10 to 15 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. At this time, the bread is almost made. Mm. 
It smells so delicious. Always remember, in making a perfect bread, we need to master the process or procedure. So with the use of proper bread tools in preparing bread. This is basic yet essential to the production of delicious bread at home or even in your business soon. Again, in making a perfect bread, we need to master the process or procedure. So with the use of appropriate tools in preparing bread. This is basic yet essential to the production of delicious bread at home or even in your business soon. I hope you understood the lesson about preparing a variety of bakery products according to standard mixing procedures, formulations, recipe, and desired product characteristic, particularly patty cocoa bread. Now that our lesson is over, it's time to check and measure what you've learned. Can you help me in answering the exercise? Please get your pen and let's answer what's more on page 11. Sequencing. Which comes first? Use numbers 1 to 10 to indicate the procedure in preparing pandi coco. Use separate shape of paper to write your answer. I will give you one minute to finish the task. When the bell rings, stop answering and we will check if your answers are right. Don't forget to answer this in your notebook. Are you ready? First statement. Shape into smooth bowl and grease all sides with lard. Place in slightly grazed bowl covered with damp clean cloth. Second statement. Arrange in grazed cookie sheet. Third statement. In a separate bowl, Place bread flour and make a wheel at the center. Then add yeast mixture, followed by the liquid mixture. Fourth statement. Transfer dough on a flour board and start kneading. Fifth statement. Prepare the desired filling and or topping. Set aside. Sixth statement. Dissolve yeast in one fourth cup of warm water, sprinkle with one tablespoon sugar, allow to stand for eight to ten minutes. Seventh statement, bake until done. Eighth statement, allow to rise for the second time until double in size. Ninth statement, combine water, oil, salt and sugar. Stir until salt and sugar is dissolved. Tain statement. Shape and add fillings and or topping. Let us now check your answer. First statement. Shape into smooth bowl and grease all sides with lard. Place in slightly grease bowl covered with damp clean cloth. The answer is process or procedure number 6. Very good. Everybody got the correct answers. Second statement, arrange in grease cookie sheet. The answer is process or procedure number 8. Great. Everybody got the correct answers. Third statement, in a separate bowl, place bread flour and make a wheel at the center. Then add yes mixture, followed by the liquid mixture. The answer is process or procedure number four. Very good. Everybody got the correct answers. Fourth statement, transfer dough in a floor board and start kneading. The answer is process or procedure number 5. Perfect! Everybody got the correct answers. Fifth statement. Prepare the desired filling and or topping. Set aside. The answer is process or procedure number 1. Excellent! Everybody got the correct answers. 
sixth statement. Dissolve the yes egg in one fourth cup of warm water. Sprinkle with one tablespoon sugar. Allow to stand for eight to ten minutes. The answer is process or procedure number two. Very good. Everybody got the correct answers. Seventh statement. Bake until done. The answer is process or procedure number 10. Good. Again, everybody got the correct answers. Eighth statement. Allow to rise for the second time until double in size. The answer is process or procedure number 9. Wow. Everybody got the correct answers. Ninth statement. Combine water, oil, salt, and sugar. Stir until salt and sugar is dissolved. The answer is process or procedure number 3. Wow! Everybody got the correct answers. Tenth statement. Shape and add fillings and or topping. The answer is process or procedure number 7. Great! Everybody got the correct answers. For you to understand more and master the lesson about preparing a variety of bakery products according to standard mixing procedures, formulations, recipes, and desired product characteristics, particularly pan de coco bread, you also need to answer the remaining activity on pages 11 to 13. This activity will help you develop more your skills and strengthen your knowledge of the lesson. Remember that together, it is always more fun and exciting to learn and explore new knowledge. This has been your teacher, Wilfredo Takasa, your radio teacher in Technology and Livelihood Education 10 for Z Radio. 88.5 Radio C Escuela. Stay tuned in for our next lesson. Until next time, say, let us discover and explore new knowledge to ensure a better future. Good day and mabuhay dagaw di oro. Ang radyo, hanapin ang Z-Radio Halika na at makinig, mag-aaral tayo! Yay! Sa Radyo Z-Skwela Makinig, matuto Sa Radyo Z-Skwela May matutuhan bago Sa Radyo Z-Skwela Sigurado masaya Dabaw di oro Radyo Z-Skwela Maraw, eno nga siyo'y susulong Kaya, halika na, mag-aaral tayo Yay! Sa Radyo Z-Skwela Makinig matuto Sa Radyo Z-Skwela May matutuhang bago Sa Radyo Z-Skwela Siguradong masaya Davao di Oro Radyo Z-Skwela Handog ng DepEd Davao de Oro Radio si Skwela Siguradong masaya! Let's go! Sa man ka mo ato 
Giving you the best music, diri lang sa Z-Radio